Hey guys, Stephanie here with AmericanMuscle.com with an overview and install of the RTR Spec 2 Chin Spoiler that's available for 2015 and newer S550 Mustang. In this video, we're going to talk about a few different things when it comes to this spoiler. We're going to talk about the styling, the materials and construction, and the install as well. I'll get into more detail with the install later, but I can tell you right now that this is an easy install and I'm going to call it a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter. The RTR Spec 2 chin spoiler is going to be for the S550 owners out there that are looking for different and that don't mind paying a little bit extra for it. This chin spoiler has a different style, so it's going to stand out and create a bold look. So I wouldn't say that it's going to be for someone that's looking for a subtle piece, but more for someone that wants something that's going to stand out. Looking at this on the table right here, you can see that it's different than almost every other front spoiler option that's out there. It's what I consider a statement piece, and it's going to make a big difference in the looks department. You can see that the OEM fog lights are integrated into the spoiler, and this molds everything into one solid piece. That being said, this is only going to work on those cars that have the factory fog lights in the bumper. As far as materials, you're looking at an injection molded TPO material, which is typical to see. This type of material has a very long lifespan. It's lightweight, so don't expect a big heavy piece here, and it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to worry about painting this to make it look good, and as a side note, it matches the RTR side splitters perfectly. In fact, this step out that's right here on the side matches those splitters and keeps the line consistent down the side of the car. When it comes to price, you're looking at spending a bit more for this spoiler than what you normally see, but that does go back to the RTR styling. You're looking at spending close to the $500 mark for this, but remember, you aren't painting it and you don't have to modify anything to get this installed. It installs very easily. So the install here is not difficult at all. It's going to be a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter, and you can expect to spend an hour tops getting this on the car. You don't have to make any modifications to get this installed on your car, and you won't need any special tools, just your normal hand tools, and of course, a jack and jack stands or even a lift can make things easier for you you will be taking the front bumper off to get this installed. Getting the front bumper off is easy enough. You have to pull your rad cover, grab the couple of bolts holding the top of the bumper to the rad support, pull the splash shield, and remove the clips and bolts holding the fender liner to the bumper. You'll have to unclip your turn signals and your fog lights before removing the bumper, and I'd recommend laying the bumper down on a nice surface so you don't scratch it. Your factory chin spoiler will need to be removed, but you're just looking at some push pins and bolts for this as well. You'll need to save your metal clips for the new spoiler, and also transfer over your turn signals and your fog lights to the new brackets that come with the spoiler. Then your new chin spoiler is ready to be attached to your bumper. I would leave everything loose until you have it all lined up perfectly, and then tighten all of your bolts. After that, you're ready to reinstall the bumper and the splash shield as well. Then you're good to go and enjoy your new chin spoiler. Wrapping things up here with the RTR Spec 2 spoiler, this is an aggressive, different type of chin spoiler for those of you out there that are looking for a statement piece. It's made from a TPO injection molded material, it's lightweight, and it's durable. As always, you can check it out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.